So this girl one day she came to my house and I can be a bena. You may quite have a wine keys, nini and I will require Pekango Kanyumba. And then she told me, Sister Leo, Sister Minataka, who could fungulia my body, as a babu, and now to Mena Bali, to my figure three months, can you have younger feelings? No, no, but she never knew what was in the background. So there she told me, but before to run away, we have to go for a visit. So I, I had now to say my status. What's up everybody? My name is Lilesh and welcome to yet another episode of Tuko Talks. And today we are sipping tea and getting to know more about a very famous face you guys have seen. We've known him for three years ago actually. He was featured on a Tuko video and it was when he was proposing to a girl. He'll tell us where they are right now. But more to that also, Josie too, to me honor his trending saying, if you don't get it, forget yeah, about, about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you wonder who this is. Bena, soft yes. tea. How about you? Cheers. Cheers. Chai. Yes. Hey, yes. Chai. Cheers, chai. Indio pombe yetu. Indio yetu ya subui na ibaridi. Karibu sana kwa our, you know, our show here. Mm. Nilikutafuta mm, nikasema you sit down tupige two story. Najua ume unapigenga watu wako wa TikTok your family. Yes. Lakini tukae tu na wewe hapa ta sisi tupige story na wewe. Mmekaribisha. Yes. Asante. Ame tupia yeah. dichai. Visitors like this is the ones we like. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean mm. guests like this not visitors. We are the visitors. So mm. I think to Tanzania too like I've said mm. um uh, three years ago, you were featured on our YouTube channel also mm. that it was a very big story. Man yeah. proposes on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's 23 years ago from now, it's 21. Yeah, it was 2019. 2019. I remember it was February. Mm. Yes, that Valentine's Day, February. Oh, and, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. And took a visit to dance. We, we, I was, I was, uh, my wife mm-hmm. then, was having a bad day. Oh, okay. And also, I was uh, I I decided to propose for her, mm. and then yeah, so took we invited to go, mm-hmm. and also our friends, mm. our colleagues at work, they came for that uh, bad day. Mm-hmm. Yes. Then you surprised her. Yeah, she mm. never knew about anything. Mm. That story is in your in your YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. So she never knew about it, and yeah, it was good. It was. Fantastic. Mm. Yes. If you don't mind me asking, to call, how are we <coughs> now with that situation? Uh, after that proposal, mm. there was a lot of challenges, a mm. lot of uh, issues, and we never managed to. After the story aired, mm-hmm. we were to do a wedding, mm. and uh, people came. They wanted to support that wedding, mm. but uh, there were so many issues. Mm-hmm. Our family, uh, I think our families were not ready to to support us, mm-hmm. and also they used uh, my weaknesses. I sometimes you know me am a social media person, yeah. so sometimes if I had challenges, I used to post in Facebook mm. and all that, and uh, they used that to make sure that doesn't happen, mm. and also when the well, when you are married, you mm. want there's always challenges. Yeah, now, see at what we are perfect. So I had my own weakness. She had the, her own weakness, but we never had that that person who can stand with us and tell us, you know, this is the direction that you are supposed supposed okay. to take. So anyway, it happened. It happened, and uh, we are not together. But we are raising our. Is it called cooperating? Mm. We are raising <laughs> our our baby together. Together. Yes, yes. I think that's the most important thing. Not any mono when you nature to videos up on pictures and not talk. That's important because normally you ask here, oh, wali achana na mtoto akaenda. Yes. But yes. it's good that mukopa moja na mna take care of your daughter. And that's why I respect I respect her uh-huh. because she. Me, I always say, I have no grudge and and. Um, and she's still, she's still some, she's a family member because Akonam to Iweto. But one thing is, for her, she she has that Akona yo hati ya kujua, mto yo ya baba yake. Mm. Na mimi ni kuna hati ya kujua, mto yo ya baba yake. 
na anahitaji mama yake mm-hmm. and it's because both of us we are orphans and uh, with that we would never want that child to grow without knowing the real father and the real mother mm-hmm. and that's why we are we are there for her it's a head challenge because in the kwani mefika mahali hata nikasema tawe mtoto sita support but you see when i came to sit down and nikajiuliza eh kwa hiyo ku separate yetu mtoto alifanya nini ana makosa she's an child yeah. so we decided like i told her we have to we have to raise this child together mm. and that's that's and my family my brother my sister our nanga issues they mm. really love that child my relatives eh uh, hakuna mtu kwetu wote wanajua my relatives all of them they know uh, mwende ni mtoto wa bena na she's welcome to our family like today my brother is going to take her mm. we go with, with her for burial ya grandma mm. you see so she's a, she's our child yeah like Africa mtoto ni wa baba. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Lakini baba kama anachukua this. Kama eh. Acha niseme hiyo. Haizo wengine wachukua ngi that's true. Yes. I like that. Dona hapa umesema as you're talking umeongea kuhusu challenges. Umesema also you an often maybe to take just back to Bena akiwa a young boy. Mm. Utueleze if kama if now you're saying when you often at what point will you lose your parents? So mm-hmm. my dad died in 1997 mm-hmm. and my mom died in 2000. Mm-hmm. So and uh, I was born in Kwale County, Kwale County co coast. So when they passed away we were taken to a children's home. So you we are four of us. Me, my mm-hmm. sister, my brother and my sister. Mm-hmm. So was tena wili bila na wili. So in that process they realized two of us were positive I oh, hate positive okay. me and our last born mm. our last born but the two my brother and my sister the other brother and sister they were negative uh-huh. so our relatives decided to look for us for a student's home so our will do our co positive we can go to a different student's home the city will do can go in a student's home when you take care ya but we were co positive oh the yes. whole children's home we could not talk co positive yeah, exactly okay yeah. uh-huh. so that's what happened and uh, we, we were told that to be to be quite a positive because our parents were positive Walikwana. so that's what we know yeah and my sister passed away when you need and I go to the soul she passed away ali pato na meningitis oh in year 2004 she died and then i was left alone in the children the home but my other brother and sister our alikuwa kwa children different mm. but them they are okay they are negative and they are yeah that's still here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you guys also very tight. Mm. Okay, um so after umesomea uko children's home, ulisomea shule all through mm. ukiwa kwa home for how long? Back of K18. Ah, uh-uh. mm. mpaka nikamaliza college. Oh, yeah. all this time ulikuwa kwa yeah. home. Our children's home is one of the best children's home. Oh. Actually it's Nyumbani children's home. Oh, it's, that yeah. It's in Karen. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, so mimi nilisoma mpaka nikamaliza college. Uh. I was in KCA University pale ni Karol kifanya mm. IT. IT yeah. Yes. So shule sikuwa na challenge yote. Mm. Yes. Oh the, the, kulikuwa na mtu alikuwa na support mm, the home. Na school. Oh, mm. oh that's really yes, nice. Yes. Okay. So and then um, I remember listening nikisikia story yako kasema ulianza kumeza ya reviews 2000 2002. 2002. Nikaanza kuyo nikiwa 10 years but unajua kulikuwa na hizo processes zinaitangwa guidelines mm. kuna ile age wanafaa kudisclose your status okay. so they just don't do it immediately mm. but in the home i had a good support system okay. yes so hata kujitikia ilikuwa rahisi yeah because mm. ikiangalia unyako wako hapo na mimi wote wana wana meza no, we have counselors oh, we have the social nice. workers medical people who are there employed yes That's a very nice home. Yes. Hey, you're in home mm. So then and then you are uni of course things are a bit different. Mm. You say you're older. Mm. Also you will not lie says you feel you cook so your sexual self is also becoming a mm. bit awake mm. or you woken sexually. Mm. Maybe we can just paint for us vile uni ilikuwa ukiwa knowing that yes I'm positive kuna watu sana unaona to start mm. to keep it on some well, well. when I was in, in college I never dated because mm-hmm. I was afraid to be a status yangu and I don't nobody knew 
Nikiwa college, my status. And I had a lot of friends. Mm. I even had a group of acting, but they never knew about my status. So, hapo siku date. Nilikuwa yes na, na, na feel unataka kudate, but sasa ku disclose your status mm. was the hardest thing uh, kufanya. No, we, not even one person knew that nilikuwa na kunywa dawa. Nikiwa kwa hiyo, kwa hiyo hostel. Because we used to nilikuwa na kapa pale pangani. Mm. Na na kwa hostel so nobody hata when you na our room moja they came to know about my status one day when i wrote it in facebook allah yes after nimesha maliza nisha toka huko oh nisha toka yes. yuni so nikifanya job sasa hapo ndo nja kujua and uh, i think i was born a motivational speaker mm. so i do a lot of motivational talks here wakati mm. and and one day i just posted it so what was kwa like Eh hey, bena how do you want to story but you know it was it was about me na siku already that time at that time yes mm. Mm. so basically vile ni nini liku push at that point after uni ndio kasema i think unaweza ongea about it na kwanza public you know just said umeka chini kaambia mtu uliweka facebook when i started working uh-huh. i realized what do na nafanyia program yenye bado na deal na wase wako positive okay. i realized there is a lot of stigma and discrimination and that thing motivated me to talk out no no and just to encourage because i was like kama mimi nime survive hizi miaka zote mm. why should people discriminate na ku stigmatize watu unaona that's nice so also to the top back again mm. ukiwa at that point for your first girlfriend because i'm assuming mm. ule uli proposed to was not your first girlfriend mm-hmm. Well, for your first girlfriend mm. just maybe paint us that picture umekaa na unasema hey sasa tunapendana how do i tell her this <laughs> you know yes i got a girlfriend mm. after sasa nikiwa a job mm. and that's where i realized what stigma and discrimination means okay because when i got this girl we dated for three months uh-huh. without any intimacy so this girl one day she came to my house and akanyambia bena nimekuwa pata ujawini kiss nini alafu mm. nilikuwa peke yangu kwa nyumba and then she told me sasa leo sasa mimi nataka kukufungulia my body mm. kwa sababu eh, naona tumeenda mbali tumefika three months kwa ni wewe unanga feelings unaona but she never knew what was in the background is, yeah. so there she told me but before to run na wewe we have to go for a visit sasa mimi nikashindwa hata naenda visit kufanya na ndio najua so we started like kubicha na bishana alafu tena nikamwambia ah akanyambia basi wewe kama unataka kulala na mimi unipendi so i, I had now to say my status hakuamini hakuamini like she was like ni kama namkataa oh, mtu kama kulala na yesu unapata ama sitaki kwenda visit so okay. i had to kutoa dawa zangu nimuoneshe oh. and there is where she was like wa hata akushtuka akanyambia sawa hakuna shida so after hapo sikujua kumbe kitu imerani na mind so when alienda hako anachukua simu zangu for two days then akanyesemesa akanga now my mother ameniambia mimi siwezi date mtu wa kwa HIV positive oh no and i really loved that girl na kwambie nililia for the next two weeks so after after hapo nililia nilikuwa nalia i remember it was december ya 2014 mm nililia nikalia for two weeks in January yote then after hapo then nika realize uh, mtu akanyambia by the way na kuna kwanga na hizi group za watu wako positive mm. kwa ma social media so ndio utafute part na huko usi give up na story za dating yeah. and that's that's why nikaanza kuchunguza nikapata groups nyingi nikaanza kujoin hizo group za Facebook za wasia wenye wako positive and then yeah so hapo nikapata wasichana watatu nikaanza kuangalia who is the best mm. then yeah the yeah. rest is history yes. <laughs> okay i like that so eh tukiendelea tunasonga mm. now at what point did you mpata mtoto na your previous um, wife your ex wife so when when to the yeah yeah to the car all to the one out of the three ladies mm-hmm. she was really understanding not to to the to the click to see what we do and then uh, akakuja after one month tukaanza kukaa na yeye in fact hata tuko tuna hata kusema ukweli and this is i'm sharing it publicly for the first time mm. ndio our family members was here we were not even ready to have that child okay in fact yeye alikuwa kwa hizi vitu zile tangu alikuwa na coil 
family planning. In fact, to go to Mumbai, it is the best. I can tell you, Mama Mwende, Alilia Fo. Eh, aku a prepared kapita kupata your pregnancy. Also, I put a bowl akiwa na coil. Yes. Oh, okay. Aku a aku a mean. Because I put a ganambia. Eh, eh, si japata my monthly periods for two months. Akanambia. Eh, I'm not going to like you are like. I don't know what you are. So she went to the hospital. Akanda akiwa na scale by. I love a kabona doctor. The last one to pay me. He got turned positive. I ended up to a government facility. Then after half of. Eh, ni kwa job. Akanita so zuri, malikuwa na kanya job. Timbali. Ni kwa na kaa opposite tu. Ola. Uh. So when ya lirudi, akanita kwa job. Atikuja kidogo. Mm. So ni karani kwa job. Kurani. Mende uh, muna ikanga watu pepa hivi. So kutani hivi. Naona? Eh? Nika, positive. Nika positive. Nika pregnant. Nika, mi, mi kwa roya hu, nilicheka tu. Lakini nikajua, hapa sasa ni... Kime umana. Kime umana. We, alilia. Akanyame sasa hii pregnant. Sita niyadubia maisha yangu. Mm. Sijui nini. Like, but but at the end of the day, after like two months, she came to accept it. And after there was a lot of people supporting us. Like people were little at my boss that time. I go and support and I'm going be a partner. She did just accept. Mm. So after half of the sister, I can that we accept. I can tell you, we have got to take a look at it. I mean, I was a four four years. And oh. Before I did mm. so for those four years, like was required by Numba, and it was just a miracle, and that's actually why I decided to call her Mwende. Because mm. even the Uyom Toi to kenda kufanya inetangwa jira ya kuskan umtoto siri inetangwa jina kambi. Inetangwa ultrasound. Ultrasound, mm. yeah. So you are ultrasound. I just go deeper shilingi. Oh. My boss then I deliver. Na kani patia gari ya job na mm. mbaya ndeni like ni kasi ma uyo mtoto tu na fanya baraka ni baraka mm. and she is loved ata mali mama yake yuko sahi uyo mtoto yeye ni ana pendwa akikunja uko ana pendwa she then I told her let's call this child Mwende yeah and then mm. akaitwa Mwende Mwende kikamba ni blessing yes I uh, ah mm. ana pendwa I love you oh. yeah. Oh, Mwende, come and day, okay. Yeah. Kwa karibu, karibu na kikuyu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's very interesting. Um, So now, of course, that has happened. Mm. Machana, but still co-parenting. Mm. Is Bena now dating? Between the period of Umeachana na Mama Mwende, did you date anyone else mm. in between? You know, mm. when we were Mama Mwende, I really looked for her. I can... But they are coming to my banana as a bad liquor, what power, or coming like they were who Jama or Chana and I and and on a just a good public, it was an issue. The job me, me, I could in fact before that, me the pattern and depression. Oh, I'm sorry, and I was diagnosed with bipolar too because okay. when she went, I'll define a minute and get a depression. Even I wanted to commit suicide. I remember I was And then I trended again. I was going to go to Facebook. social media. So that time I trended because I was in a group. And I was so depressed. I was like, 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 I Musena mekuja kwa ngu ni mkonjwa, like, wah, wow, it was so hell. Mbaka nika, sasa nika pele kwa, eh, kwa psychiatrist, mm. kaka nidagonezi na bipolar 2. Nika enda, nika, nika ajimitiwa hospitali. Oh. Nika enda kupewa hizu da waza depression. And he was like, Bernard is the worst man in this world. Like, I used to see myself, hakuna mtu ananipenda, nini. Nika jilok kwa nyumba, I, I remember nikuwa na, nikuwa si ogi, manmele zime mea hibi, like, oh, I was so just depressed mm. because I really, I really Lada. loved mama mwende, mm. eh, yeah? na that child, mimi nikuwa na wapenda, but you know, sometimes just because you love somebody doesn't mean you yeah, are supposed okay. to be perfect, mm. unona, unajua watu wiki wanaonanga, because na, na kupenda, ati lazima nikuwe perfect, they, they forget that we are human Humans, beings, yeah. unona, and, this person you are married, you are, you say my marriage needs a lot of maturity. But the people around you might make you lose your, your marriage because you are concentrated on negativity. 
Na mimi nasema I am not perfect even I used to tell her I am not perfect but let me tell you she's one of the uh, yani in this world I really respect mama Mwende she's she's one person if I hear today amefanyikiwa kitu I will stand by her mm. and 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 she knows it anajua vizuri Bernard will stand with me hata leo hao hao family members wa Mwendezilete ama nani she knows Bernard will stand there because for me i knew it's not her yeah it's, it's this the influence no, no. Uh, but i respect that so you have asked if i moved on now right now i have a girlfriend and uh, yeah tunaiwachia mungu yes you know to know like that same is she does is she also positive no, or no, she she's, she's neg- negative she's negative mm. she's just a unique lady mm. yeah so yes Ndio aje ni badia kwa mimi ni kumuso. Kesho nitapigiwa simu. Kesho akwambia wewe. But I like that. Umepata mtu na despite everything she is there for you. She is not going to look at that thing and I pray that this one no external forces. Zitakuja. Like, that's the biggest problem but you know what? Where I have reached in life, mm. I think when it comes to relationship, you just leave them to God. You can say umtaachana na mkae forever. Mm. Useme mtakaa forever na muachane. So you just leave it to God and people are people people change. Hata mimi labda 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 naweza choka ama yeye anaweza choka na mimi you know things happen. Ama watu wanaweza kuja ama family members wanze kusema ama ma, oh, ma friend. Okay, okay. So you just leave what I flow eh. Mm. But one of the things that mimi naweza sema is is that God go mimi kila kila mzigo ya life yangu niwaachia tu Mungu let him be the lead i don't want to speculate anything na wewe jibebe na wewe ndio ya kesho ah hizo mzigo ni mzito mzigo zetu ni mzito sana wewe sema utajibebea zote it's important to watch your god kabisa all right sasa bena tukaendelea sasa bena akatutegenezea video you get it if you don't get it forget about it If you don't get it, uh-huh. if you don't get it, <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> And that video blew up massively. Hakuna mm. WhatsApp group haikuwa. Mm. It was WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok, <laughs> Facebook, everywhere. Ulikuwa unapatana na Bena. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, let me tell you that is a favor from God. Mm. I can say that because mimi mimi I remember nikwa niko na YouTube channel. Mhm. Uh-huh. Eh, bena softi <coughs> na niko, niko na hiyo facebook so mimi nilikuwa mtu wa facebook unaona sana mm. so mimi sikuwa na joma nilikuwa tiktok from 2018 but i wasn't active nilikuwa na followers 122 hey, so easy look at you so mm. in april this year mm. april 20th mm. i did that video if you don't care it nilikuwa tu kwa nyumba nimetoka job nimechoka nimekaa tu Actually ni kwetu nimeka then kaona eh you so ni kwetu kwa tu simu na nikaino ikasema if you don't get it forget about it then nikafanya hivyo na nika post so za hiyo ni kuna 122 followers eh uh-huh. kwa TikTok eh so alafu nikafanya video nyingine ya tupate katoto afkas mm hiyo wimbo nikafanya the same day na mimi nika relax Ah uh, yeah tulipata katoto nilifanya the following day because hiyo okay. nilifanya nikiwa job mm. tukitoka. Let me tell you in the in the next day naona nimefikisha 700 followers. That's it what is happening. The that day niko na around 2000 people. Na hivyo ndio nikaanza ku trend this year April. Na hivyo tu nikaanza ku trend mm. na nikaanza ku trend hivyo kwa TikTok. So one, after after one week nikaona nikiwa TikTok nikaona jamaa mwingine amen limited mm. ili kitu inaitwa duet hey. mimi siko najua what that is mm. so mimi nikasema nika eh kwa nini wewe mtu kwa nini anadhani mimi ni gay so nikapol hiyo <laughs> video <laughs> na nikaweka kwa whatsapp sasa nikacheka nika nikasema eh this guy didn't say magi mm. so kwa andika sisi ni watu wageni wabaya <laughs> lakini mimi nilichukulia so ndio mtu akaniambia eh bena hiyo inaitwa ku duet oh. so i had to go back na nilani sasa what, what is this duet 
Zeni kidogo kidogo naona kila mtu nasikia watu wananiambia wamepo atibena nimekuona kwa status ya rafiki yangu sijua sister yangu ya brother yangu then nikaanza ku learn nikaona naweza enda live kwa TikTok okay. and that's how, how it started the TikTok yeah. live started and yeah. blew up right now i have 147000 followers can you imagine from 112 100 to 144000 yes. yes how has your journey been on TikTok it was 122 mm. not 100 The journey, the journey has been interesting. Me I can say so far so good. Mm. Challenges ni kidogo kwa sababu pale TikTok. I, I don't know why ladies love TikTok. <laughs> there is a lot of ladies who dance, TikTok. you know there's a lot yeah. of dancing and makeup yeah. and cooking. So mm. a lot of ladies are on TikTok. My a lot of my fans are ladies actually. Okay. Um yeah, so it has been a good journey and they are they are very supportive. Some of them nimewajua now in person from nime, TikTok. Yes, nime hapa kwa nyumba yangu. Mm. Over over 70 f- uh, followers of mine have come here. Here. But over 100 have met. Yes, okay. I have met over 100 face to face sasa hiyo. Yes. Oh, that's mm. really nice. I remember the first time the first TikToker alikuja kwa nyumba yangu aliniletea kiatu hata sijui kiatu iko wapi. And the The first time our TikTokers kukuja mm. ni after two weeks after your video me trend. Mm. They contacted me wa kanyaga bena tunataka kuku visit. And I was like, "Eh, why why are they interested?" So five guys, five. So there were three ladies and two gents. They were the first people to come and visit. So you ni kona chiko nyumba ya kama baji single house. Ah yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they came alafu ni nianza kwenda live sasa watu wananiuliza na hapa maluna shingi yenye alafu sasa uweze ongea usiku watu wanaonisikia kelele so watu wanakuwa nasema ati bila sitafute nyumba utoke hapo mm. mtu kama wewe hufai kuishi hapo and then wakanichangia sasa ndio oh. nikaambia kwa hii nyumba yes that's so nice hey, 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 you have a family nikatafuta nikaamua nipige picha hii nyumba mm. apige nikatafuta na nikamwambia wewe unataka nienda one bed room nikamwambia njema ukiniacha ndani ya tanzu pia nyumba eh na mimi sasa ndio mnapata alafu niko na mtu huyo kushule so wakanyambia ah nikamwambia mimi natafuta yenye hata mniaje hivi mtaweza kulipa so that's how i came to this house na wakakuja wakafanya house warming wow eh watu wa tiktok ni wazuri sana mtaingia tiktok sasa mnihamisha lakini lakini naweza sema It's about your content and mm. how you talk. Kuna venye unaenda hapo TikTok uongee vitu na watu wa kuchukia mm. na kuna venye na ni favor ku trend kwa TikTok. It's just a favor from God. I've seen a lot of people struggling but me I've never struggled. Struggle. Hapo TikTok iko fanyi. Kuna saa unaweza pa ka one week uko na two followers wako 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 stagnant. Mm. Then another pa, another day unaona tu inaanza kupanda na thousands na hivyo 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 inaenda ikienda. Like I remember kuna wakati nilifika 60,000 na nikakwama hapo for like two weeks. Eh. Yeah. Lakini tena again nikaanza na nikaenda nikiendanga. Baka yeah. 100. Eh. Yeah. Hey. Nikaenda baka 100. Kwanza hiyo wakati ilikuwa sasa siku hizi sina anga goal ya TikTok. Nataka tu nifikie 1 million. Mm. Uni follow kwa TikTok mbele soft. Eh, hey, ufike yeah. 1 million. <laughs> yeah. TikTok imekusaidia kupata other than of course watu wamekam mm. wamekuchangia wanakufanyia vitu. Imekusaidia mm. kupata business. TikTok mm. number one, ilifanya nikapanda ndege. Mashallah. Nikapeleka kwetu usha, shaguni ndege. Uh-huh. Yes. Number two, imenifanya nikapata some adverts. Kuna watu nimefanya oh, adverts nice. kwa TikTok, but hiyo ilikuwa ile yenye tuna test, but now mm. I, I see it being serious. Mm. Eh, kuna kampuni nyingine imeni approach kwa Mombasa. Mm. So tunangoja elections zisije and then Ndele. we see what we can mm. do kuna watu wanauza mangu hata mmoja nafaa ku post ngozi zake leo kwa TikTok yangu kuna wengine ni akago kambani eh hey, bena eh, utahamia one bedrooms yeah. very soon eh, so <laughs> but hizo ni zile za yenye unaambua eh sika hii odu sijui siko na jua mambo ya advertisement but i'm hoping sasa ninaenda pale ku sign big contract hey, yeah. na credit yeah. card yes Ukwe na red card yeah. sime. By the way, niliambo hiyo kitu ya red card sijua hata ina maana gani. But I mean, my goal uh-huh. was to reach 100,000 followers. Sasa uh-huh. ambieni hizo kampuni zinjapo. Sikuje sasa. Yeah. Na ziende ziangalie Bena Softi. Uh-huh. Kila siku mimi niko live. Niko live. 
Hey, that's very nice. Yeah. I like why your story is very nice, Bena. <laughs> I'm really happy. Mm-hmm. But ni ni kudisha tunyuma kidogo vile uli post hiyo video ya if you don't get it forget about it. Yeah. At that time ulikuwa na eh nilikuwa na mapema. Eh. eh. Saizi naona Bena meno zote mm-hmm. full. Kabisa. Mhm. Ata TikTok ndio mm-hmm. amefanya nikaekewa meno. Na one doctor kwa TikTok and I want to thank her anaitwa Dr. Sam. Mm. Anafanya pale Kenol. Huyo anaweza tajia anafanya Kenol. Mm. Kenol Moranga County hapo okay. Afia Afia Equity. Mm-hmm. So that guy called me akanyambia Bena nataka u nataka ni kupatia smile. Mm. In fact wali contact kwa Facebook and then there is a guy kuna company ilipeleka mtoto wangu Nairobi National Park. Oh. na na giraffe senda yeye na mama yake. Oh. Yes, wao wawili mama yake na yeye na mimi mm. and then uh, three of our friends kwa TikTok. Mm-hmm. Kenda, Nairobi. So that that person who took the us there, mm-hmm. the tour guide, ni alisoma ni alikuwa classmate wa huyo daktari. So when yeye to post kwa Facebook yake, mm. when yeye to post kwa hiyo Facebook yake huyo rafiki yake kama kondaka okay. kama mimi nataka contact ya huyo mse wakashare contact alafu huyo ndio wakani contact so nikaenda akanyekea meno so yes ni mambo ya Mungu okay that's true yes Are but in the same unajua watu wengi wamekuwa watu wengi wako close na mimi wengine walikuwa wananiambia toka kwa hizo social media cause i used to expose myself mm, a lot you're very open but i've come to realize when you own your story people will always appreciate you people will love you me i have a family in TikTok and I want to thank them they're just the best mm. yes wengine na wajua majina hivi 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 wote yes i think social media lakini zote zote majina ya moja hivi kusema ya moja hivi watasema wote wote kusema wote sasa hivi moja kitu ya social media pia one thing we've learned is if you are authentic mm. ukiwa real watu watakupenda ukianza exactly. kukuwa fake mm. then the next day to show you ai hapa vitu haziendani exactly. ndo utapata mm. your hate And, and and I wonder why people do not chasing like me have come to realize when when you own yourself people will love, I love you. you. After you know to come up in and tell you what you fanya clot chasing. Mm. Unaona but how I say when I come up kwa dogo kwa dogo unaona mtu anataka kufanya tu vitu za ujinga a trend. Mm. But imagine if you are if you are authentic. Hata for that look group on a pole and let me tell you, when when in in, in in social media now uko na followers huge kama hao you are a public figure yeah. you need to be very careful, careful. now what you do that's no, no. true mm. yes because you might mislead a crowd na mungu sikumuja atakupunish kiboko yes <laughs> not right at that but unajua watu wanatafuta anga pesa in any how ndona pesa ni ngumu pia ukiangalia hiyo then they are on the right track <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yet you don't get and you also on the right track but tunasemanga to each their mm, own mm, ile mtu anafurahia mm. at that point you keep post your video you shall pata trolls before you got your teeth fixed exactly uh. <coughs> you know now what happened mm. what were going to chongwa hiyo mapengo yangu and they never knew the story behind behind even bena so after after one month after that watu wamekuja kuniona mm. so i posted tena nikaandika about her. TikTok watu wako na join my my status. Mm. So I did a video. Eh for bitu na siku ongea ni wimbo alafu nikaandika hapo nikaeka wazi. Wewe everything turned. When you order alikuwa anaona bena mbaya nini. Sasa ni wanakula. Wakaona bena hiyo meno yake si wakaanza kunipenda. But pia kuna watu wana stigmatize watu na HIV. But tunawasemea because they are ignorant. Ama wa, they know the information but they, they, they are pretending they are they do not mm. know so yeah people are like Forget that about yeah. it. <laughs> me i don't care about the negativity mm-hmm. i just care about the positivity because ile wakati nilikuwa najali the negativity ilisha na ilipita yes ah oh, i like that mm. i like that very much wow bena yeah. what else do you like to say to kimalizia sana ile sema naweza sema asante kwa kukunja eh ya watu walete hizo mimi nafanya adverts walete ni wafanye adverts sasa niko na followers pale kwa tiktok Eh ambia watu jina yako ya TikTok, jina yako Facebook bado uko active. Mm. Facebook na Instagram uko? Eh Instagram niko. Instagram ni nyingine tunakwanga nayo. Ya yeah, TikTok, Facebook, Insta- Twitter, YouTube. Twitter, YouTube. Ah. Uh. Zote naitwa Bena Softy. Na Bena Softy ile tawapi Bena anajua ni Bernard Softy. Mm. So Softy, mimi naitwa my real name is Bernard Mololo mm. Kitela. Mhm. 
So mololo in kamba is something that is soft. Oh. So so ndio nikajita bena soft nika fanya short form. So nikaanza ku trend TikTok kwa najita bena dikitela mm. but nikasema kwa zinataka social media zangu zikuwe the same kushinda unasema bena dikitela tena bena soft. Mm. Nikaamua tu nijite bena yeah, soft. soft yeah. So naitwa bena soft. Mm. Soft soft iko na wayo mwisho so mm. soft ya wayo mwisho mm. iko na youtube channel wambia wende wa subscribe pale kwa youtube channel yangu mm. na yes wende wa ni follow kwa tiktok na kuanga live kila siku tunaongea story za hiv tunafanya ineta angwa patanisho tu asi patanisho ayo unapatanisho watu pia watu wana connect hapo wana pata ma girlfriend ma boyfriend tabidi ni ingio tiktok mm. juhi baridi mm. ayo ni peleki no. vizu umuja tu umuja tu yeah. umuja toka hapo na mtu hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> mimi uyo next live niko hapa <laughs> no so, kiniono unanipiga short watu mm. watu wajue niko yes. yeah. <laughs> Ah ndiki kuona tu. Ah nitashauta haraka sana. Ni ni but I I really want to thank my TikTok followers. Mm. They are just great people. All those who have supported me when I did the like Shago. When you are like mtu wangu. In fact let me tell you. Mm. My TikTok before sasa nipata this new girlfriend. Some of my TikTok followers they wanted me to get back with the mama Mwende. Okay. And they even went to visit her. Serious. I'm telling you it was like that they went literally bila mimi kujua kumwambia ndiana na bena lakini unajua mtu akisha decide you can't force yeah, you can't change someone's but, mind uh, but uh, me I want to appreciate them kuna wengine walinialao mimi ni kuwe familia yao kuna wengine ni mabest yangu wakinikosa waki so I want to tell all of them thank you so much yes now my big unajua uh, mtu anaitwa Hey, it's like you wanted me. Do you get the moja? What you take? You take one hundred. Yes, so you get the moja. But now I feel I may even love the big TikTokers. There are some of the big TikTokers there. Who support you also? Who really who no who recognize me? Okay. Who recognize you? Nikitwa mana. So mm. I want to thank all of them. Yes. Mm. Wow, Bena, such a nice story, mm. and I'm also happy that one one thing that. You may pen the throat mm. is that you're very open mm. very authentic you're mm. real you don't mm. want to fake anything na nataka kushukuru tiktokers wale nili wale nifanyia birthday yangu ilikuwa na cost around 30000 ah walitoa hiyo pesa yote wakafanya hiyo birthday mimi na join tiktok for the first time ni sijafanya kujia appreciate sijawai mimi sikunywangi wakanimwagia pombe hey kwa hivyo ulinusia tu pombe ilikuwa tu harufu nilisikia kitu inaonda chovi mimi ni wa chai na soda bas okay na juice okay mimi bado ben fresh asal tulisikia chovi anyway bena thank you very much kutukaribisha hapa kwako your story is amazing it's a message of hope to so many people aka ka single house kangu ni my mansion bena safety mansion mansion yeah. mm, na vile tunaendelea yeah. najua the next time ikikuja yeah. atutakuwa hapa tutakuwa yeah. kwa big house unipatia advice mm. okay hapa okay yeah. hapa and you will because i've gain of said yeah. when i'm seem real son and i think that's the one thing what to talk just be real be yourself don't mm. no need to fake anything mm. as mm. we like on joyko so mm. nashukuru sana mm. thank you for your story for mm. all that you've gone through we thank god that you've grown mm. even emotionally mm. saizi unasema haters hata wezi wasikia ah. wako huko wakae huko wakae huko mm. tubaki na our lovers mm. baka kuchangia 30000 mimi naingia mm. tiktok like, 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 ya mwisho kabisa na kwa appreciate you msana ni to lucy lucy this day pale kwa tiktok that girl is just unique. When you accept na ali yangu. Mm. Do other studio about the future but I just want to tell her thank you so much. Akiangaliwa pale TikTok anaona nga he nika mtanzania. Oh. Mm. Eh mwende mfollow Lucy this day. Eh. Mm. Mm. Mtanjende ni TikTok mjue Lucy ni nani. <laughs> If you don't get it forget, forget about, about it. it. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much guys for being with us throughout this whole episode of Tuko Talk. It's been such an amazing one. We have laughed, we have learned, and I'm here to tell you as Bena has said, be positive about life. Anything, don't let whatever the circumstance of your life bring you down because 
there's so much more ahead so much more for him there's and he's a jolly jolly person mm. and i think that's the most amazing thing and i'm sure you've learned a lot so do follow ben on social media you can find him if you have business for him number yake pay kwa hapo number yake kwa tiktok he say me hapo watu waijue wakitaka kukupata my number is 0716 that one 8761 uh ugini facebook tiktok shida ukiandika kama mimi si rafiki yako niandike message eh but ukienda eh tiktok lakini ukienda facebook bana software unaweza ni inbox ukienda twitter but nitumie whatsapp message nitaona kwa hiyo namba yangu ya na nita appreciate yeah let's give bana business let's move bana from a bed sitter to the mansion of his life exactly Exactly. Thank you very much guys again. My name has been Lil- my name is Lilian and this has been Tuko Talks from Benet Nasama. If you don't get it, forget, forget about, about it. it.